What's up guys? Canes drop another to the Columbus Blue Jackets three in a row, but we did get a point and we should probably feel fortunate to get a point after falling behind two nothing. Corpo Salo was uh, amazing in the first period. The first period was scoreless. Andrei Spechnikov had a forgettable game for his standards, taking a couple avoidable penalties. Just kind of got out of his game. Columbus got under skin a little bit, and they were able to execute on the power play. Uh, and we gave up a hat trick to Maniscalco. I know I said that wrong, but he was a one-man wrecking crew. Uh, just getting to lose pucks, uh, beating a one one on the third goal. It was a leaky goal by Ronson at the beginning of the third period with about 14.37 left. Uh, Andre, I believe, got beat on one on one, and that guy again uh, was able to get one to the net, and it kind of leaked through Ronta. So, not one you want to give up. Um, but we were down 2 nothing with uh, those two power play goals that the Columbus Blue Jackets were able to muster. Just not really good coverage, and um, the puck found some empty ice, and they were able to cycle it and get some good get some good zone time on those power plays and sometimes that just happens but uh we were able to get back on the board with max patch ready second game back after the achilles is getting his goal scoring power uh activated he had two today um a really really good pass to seth jarvis and seth jarvis winged a Laser created a good rebound and Max Pest already wanted more, got a good bounce, make it 2-1, and then we got a power play goal from Brady Shea. Uh, Rob Brindamore uh, waving the magic wand on a power play uh, that was disoriented and just sloppy looking today, at least for the first couple. Um, but we did get two power play goals today. A uh, couple of lucky bounces, but you take that given um, the luck or the lack thereof. The last two games, 67 shots against UC Saros in Nashville and Corpusalo 42. He was absolutely awesome. You got to tip your cap there. But Brady Shea found some loose change and some open ice and did not hesitate at all. His confidence muscle is bulging. To the highest degree, Brady Shea has done it on both sides of the ice. Um, absolutely incredible for him, 2-2. Two, two. And then got another power play. And Max Pacioretty with his uh, amazing shot and shot location made it 3-2. to two. Having a 3-2 to two lead as sloppy as the game kind of looked was kind of awesome. And then we let in the leaky goal. Um... Ronta had a couple of really big breakaway saves. We played four on four in the overtime because nobody got a shot on goal. The Canes had a late power play opportunity, but really couldn't generate anything and had five seconds left of the power play opportunity in the overtime. That's why we were on four on four. Uh, just really steadily defense on both sides there. And then the shootout um, to, it was, Quickly, 2 nothing. Andre Spechnikov put one in. Uh, Tavo Teravainen put one in. And then um, Ronta had a good stop, but was the Je uh, Blue Jackets just had really, uh, really good goaltending goal, goal today. And Ronta was a little loose, only uh, facing 22 shots and three of them going in and the shootout, so it was a little shaky on all fronts, but also some good things. It was just a eh type of game, but getting a point on the road is always a good thing. Um, so, as always, let's go Kings.